Well, today is another day that it would have been really nice for Piggy Smalls to be <laughs> under that blanket with it being misty, a little chilly, and it's going to be staying that way. Yeah, absolutely. That's a tough act to follow. Yeah, you definitely need a blanket, but you know, it's not too bad out there right now. It's pretty mild uh, in terms of temperatures. So we'll take a look at what's going on out there right now. And uh, it, it's it's there's some patchy fog. We're dealing with some patchy fog up and down uh, the coastline right now. It's going to be a wet overnight. Could have some patchy fog and drizzle, even a few showers mixed in. And tomorrow's not too bad. It'll be mild, but we'll be dealing with some fog and drizzle in the morning, even some afternoon sprinkles. And then more rain arrives on Wednesday, and then it's drier towards the end of the week. Right now, the temperatures, look at that. We're at 57 degrees in Portland. Augusta, Augusta at the same temperature, 57. Bangor at 58 degrees. So it's pretty mild out there. We're not dealing with cooled temperatures, so it could be worse with this rain. Light breeze out of the east southeast right now, and that's just bringing on an onshore flow, and that's what we're expecting over the next 24 hours. That's why I'm expecting some patchy fog and drizzle, especially along the coastline. So right now you're dealing with a few showers moving through the Portland area up towards the pike into Bangor, even parts of northern portions of the state dealing with some showers. But for the most part, the showers are on their way out. So Bangor, we just had a couple of showers moving through your area, Millinocket, a couple of sprinkles and showers, but really nothing heavy, so nothing really to worry about. Even down in Portland, a couple of rain showers moved through. They're now up towards Brunswick, and we're expecting those just to continue to move towards the northeast. A couple of showers over New England, uh, for the most part, those will stay to our west, and then there's really nothing to our south, and that's why we're thinking tomorrow we're not going to be dealing with too much in the way of rain. So here's what we're looking at about 1 a.m., Look at the temperatures though. They're pretty much staying status quo overnight in the mid 50s. And again, you could see a couple of sprinkles moving through the area, but really um, nothing to really write home about. By tomorrow morning, some patchy fog and drizzle. So watch out in the morning. Still gonna have some wet roadways. Even 11 o'clock, we're starting to see those temperatures moving into the 60s. So it's really mild out there tomorrow. A stray sprinkle of shower, but right along the coastline with that onshore breeze, that's where you can see some patchy fog and drizzle throughout the day. And then by tomorrow night, uh, around 6 p.m. dinner time, it's still not too bad. Look at the temperatures in the lower 60s. Could see some uh, dim sunshine across Rangeley up to Greenville and into Millinocket, but for the most part, I think we're locked in in the clouds along the coastline down East Maine, down over to Portland. Now, hot temperatures though, mostly in the mid to upper 60s. Waterville, 67 degrees. Bangor, you're going to be pushing 70 degrees, and if that sun comes out, could see that 70 degree mark as well. I think along the coastline, like I was talking about, Portland, uh, Wiscasset, will mostly be in the lower 60s. You can see the winds will be mostly off the ocean, so that's going to keep us a little bit cooler. Now, on Wednesday morning, we're watching low pressure developing south of New England. Most of it's going to stay to the east of southern New England, but Maine, I think we're going to see some rain developing t Wednesday morning into the afternoon. Could see some heavier downpours as well and then by Thursday a cold front clears us out seeing cooler air maybe a couple of higher elevation sprinkles on Thursday afternoon and then by the weekend it looks cooler and uh, more on the dry side so the weekend's not looking too bad as we go through now as far as the rain expected could see anywhere between one to two inches of rain as we get into Thursday night and by Friday everything dries out so our seven day forecast and, you know, it's not looking too bad as we get into the middle portions of the week. We just need to get through Wednesday, and then by Thursday, we're pushing 70 degrees inland, and then later on in the week, we cool things off after that cold front moves through. And then along the coastline, yeah, look at that. We still unsettled right through Wednesday. Could some he see some heavier pockets of rain on Wednesday. Thursday, some uh, cl partly cloudy skies, and then by the weekend, the weekend is looking pretty good, and, and let's take a look at Halloween. We could have some late clouds, temperatures in the 60s, so I think the trick-or-treaters are going to have a good time on uh, Monday for Halloween, so it's not looking too bad, the forecast. I know. After Wednesday. <laughs> There's so a lot of... We just need to get through the middle of the week. Yeah, a lot of Halloweens, you got to have yeah. a costume that you can wear a big jacket underneath. Yeah. Maybe not this year. Yeah, no, no, this year it looks pretty nice, so... We can hey. hope. All right. Not looking too bad. <laughs> David, thank All you. Right.